Hi foodies, today we're making some really simple brown stew fish. Now usually when we make this in Jamaica, it's a whole fish used, but this time I'm doing some fillet pieces. Let's get into it. So I do have a recipe for Jamaican brown stew fish on the channel with whole fish. The good thing about using the snapper fillet though is that my three-year-old can have plenty of it and I'm not worrying about bones. So all I do is I just cut the fillets into strips. All right, if you want to cut it into just four pieces, that's fine. But I'm just going to cut it into some tiny strips. That way we can stretch the two fillets for all of us. All right, so cut that up. All right, very, very easy. And then we're going to season. So right here I have my fish seasoning, some garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper. I'll put all the seasonings in the description box below the video. All right. So just click the down arrow under the video and you'll get to see all those details. So just rub all of this into the fish. Now, usually when I'm doing my brown stew fish and I'm using the whole fish, sometimes I don't even um, dredge it with any flour. I just fry the fish with the skin. Sometimes I'll put a little flour on there and um, because we have no skin on this, I definitely want to put some flour on there just to give it a light coating. So it's flour and a little of the fish seasoning or all purpose seasoning and then some black pepper. Okay. And then just mix that together and we're going to just pour it over the fish. This is just going to be a light coating. I'm not using any egg or milk, just a quick light coating all over. All right, so you want to shake off the excess flour and we have our oil ready here. I'm putting some scotch bonnet pepper and some garlic inside. This is just going to give that oil lots of flavor. Okay, this is something that is done often in Asian cookery and in Jamaican cookery where you just flavor the oil with the garlic and then you can remove it if you want to. So we're just going to be frying these for about five to six minutes. Okay, you don't want to overcook the fish. All right. So fry it until it's nice and crispy outside and it has a light golden brown color. Once this is done, you can just set it aside and then we're going to make our little gravy. All right. I'm going to be using some vegetables. So it's some sweet peppers, some garlic here, some scallion. You can leave it in chunks if you prefer some carrot sometimes i don't use the carrot sometimes i do some thyme some onion and of course some scotch bonnet pepper okay you can cut it up if you want this fish um, to be spicy so oil goes in the pan and we are going to cook up these veggies so we just cook them for maybe 30 something seconds we want to keep them you know a little bit firm because they're going to be simmering in the gravy later we don't want to overcook them all right So these have been cooking for about 30 seconds or so. I'm adding the tomato. Sometimes I, you know, leave the tomato out. I just felt like adding it today. So I'll add that and some garlic as well. And this is just going to make it really nice and flavorful. Once you get that beautiful fragrance from the garlic, then we're going to go in with more ingredients. I'm adding the finely minced scallion or the diced scallion. You can do it whole if you prefer. And there's some fresh thyme, not dry thyme. And then just stir this around for a few seconds. Then I'm going to add some ginger paste. If you have the fresh ginger, you can just mince it finely. So I have this, it's super convenient, so sometimes I use it. So ginger is gone in there. Just give that a quick stir because it's really fine. It's easy to just get it incorporated.
now we're just gonna season this so we're adding fish seasoning or all-purpose seasoning or chicken seasoning whichever you choose just use a Caribbean brand okay and then some pimento grains allspice berries right lots of flavor in there you can crack them if you prefer I'll be adding some soy sauce and some ketchup if I have fish and meat sauce, then I'll add it instead of the soy sauce. A lot of Jamaicans use fish and meat sauce from Grace, um, that brand. But I have soy sauce, so I'm going to use that. All right, and then just mix everything together. Then we're going to be adding the water. Most times when I'm making this, I'll add the water, I'll mix things around. If I feel like I need more gravy, then I'll add a little more soy sauce, a little more ketchup, and then a little more water, and then give it a taste. Add some black pepper and add more seasoning if I need to. And usually with brown stew fish, it's not like a very dark brown. So give it a taste. Adjust the seasoning, guys. If you want it to be spicier at this point, you can prick that scotch bonnet pepper that you put in there. And then we're just going to add the fish that we fried and allow this to cook down. Now, if I feel like I want more gravy at this point, I'll just mix a little water, ketchup and soy sauce in a bowl and then add it and let it simmer down. Okay. But if you don't want a lot of gravy, then you are good to go. That is it. All right. And then I served it up with some coleslaw and some veggies and some rice and peas with some plantain as well. You can have this with Bami, Festival, all of those nice Jamaican side dishes. But this is so good, guys. This is a really easy way to introduce Jamaican foods to your kids, especially if they're very, very young and they can't manage the whole fish with the bones. Because you know Snapper has a lot of bones. This is really easy for them to eat so you can give it a try and let me know what you think and check out the other brown stew fish video with the whole snapper thanks for joining me and i'll see you guys next time